We're heading out. Thank you for everything. I'll bestow good luck upon you. What do you think you're doing? Inosuke! Stop that, you idiot! It's ceremonial! We're going on a journey, and striking sparks is for luck! Huh? Always live your lives in a fashion where you are able to hold your heads up high. I wish you luck in battle. The hell's that even me? Can you just drop it? Let's go! Thank you. Heads up high? Luck in battle? What's that mean? To be honest, it is a little bit difficult to explain. I guess it means whatever hand you're given in this life, you're able to conduct yourself in a way that's honorable, so you're never ashamed. And wishing us luck in battle just means she's praying for our safety. Well, what about the hand you're given? We have two already! And why should we be ashamed? Well, I guess... What does honorable mean anyway? And why is that old hag praying for our safety in the first place? She has nothing to do with us! So what's her game, huh? Let's get going. Huh? Okay. Everyone! We need to pause here. Zenitsu? What's wrong? I'm nervous, okay? Now that we're nearing our destination, I'm getting scared! Why the hell is he sitting like that? It's pretty weird if you ask me. <laughs> what is this smell? <laughs> help me! Please help me! Look at his uniform. That guy, he's one of us! Are you alright? What happened? <laughs> They were attached to me, too! Please don't let me die here! What's going on here? I'm going in. I'll head in first. You stay behind me, trembling like a scared little animal. This is making me hungry. Yeah! <laughs> Here we go. <clears throat> There's an incredibly pungent odor on the wind. I can't pick up a scent trail like this. This won't tell me where the demons are. Now more than ever, we've got to proceed carefully. This place is full of cobwebs everywhere you- We've got to find them, and soon. Ha! 
That's what happens to a small fry like him. I'd never get caught like that. to find the advance party that came into these hills first. I'll take down that demon and save everyone as fast as I can. The air here is giving me chills. It's like there's an aura of terror surrounding the mountain. Okay. I'm really glad Inosuke's here with me. I can't go any farther. I need to find another route. dragged us all the way up the mountain, but there's nothing here! The hell you trying to pull, Monjuro? There are demon slayers in there. Huh? We've come to help out. I'm Tanjiro Kamado, rank Mizunoto. Mizunoto? Are you serious? They should have sent us a Hashira! No matter how many Mizunoto they send in, it won't be enough! Big talk from the guy who pissed his pants! Now how about you tell us just what is going on here? The... Crow gave us orders... to come to this place. And ten of us demon slayers gathered here. Not long after we entered the mountain, that's when it started. My teammates started killing each other! <laughs> you have to go and bring a higher ranked member! And if you don't, I'll end up killing everyone! I beg you! 
guys morons or something? They don't know that it's taboo for us demon slayers to fight each other. That's not it. They're acting odd. Like... Like they're being controlled. <laughs> There's a strange, sweet scent coming from her back. A thread? That's it. Threads! Inosuke, they're being controlled with threads! I already figured that out! There must be a demon controlling them. But where? <clears throat> that horrible smell again. What is it? Inosuke, there are too many of them. We gotta find the demon who's controlling them instead. This disgusting smell is all around us. My nose isn't going to work like this. Listen, if you have some kind of power that can pinpoint the demon's location, that would really help. And you there, your name. It's Murata. Murata! The two of us will take care of the people being controlled. In the meantime... <laughs> I will not let you disturb my family's peaceful life. He's floating? No, he's standing on the threats. Mother will be sure to make quick work of you all. Who's mother? I won't let anyone get in our way. The five of us are going to live in happiness as a family. No one on this mortal plane will tear us apart. Where the hell do you think you're going? Fight me! Fight me! I don't think he's the demon who's controlling our people with those threats. We can't focus on him now. Okay, okay, okay! I get it, all right? You want me to go find the one who is! Shut up about it already! Beast breathing. Seventh form. Spatial awareness! I found you. You demon! That way! They can't hide from- Did you find them? That's amazing, Inosuke! You found the enemy? Then leave these guys to me and go on ahead, Tanjiro! Huh? I know I wasn't very brave back there, but I'm still a demon slayer. I'll find a way to hold them off. There have to be people who are under even greater control near the demon. You have to help them! You got it. Stay strong. I'll just destroy them all in one shot! The closer an individual is to me, the stronger these threats become, as do my precious dolls. Mother... Can you really win? <gasps> really? Don't you think this is taking too much time? You'd better get to it. Or I'll have to tell father. No, I can do it! You don't have to worry! I promise to protect you! So please... Whatever you do, don't tell your father! Not him! Then hurry it up. <laughs> I have no choice but to unleash that one, then. Over here! We're getting close! Now that the winds changed direction, my sense of smell is returning. There, I'm picking up two more scents. Something's there. Inosuke! I detected that thing before you did! It doesn't even have a head! That thing's got no weak spots! Where am I supposed to cut? What do we do? What do we do? Inosuke, this is a tough one, but we can do it! If we put our heads together, we'll be able to win! <laughs> Damn it! It's got no weak spots! What the hell do I target? Stomach? Arms? Legs? Where? Waterfall Basin! Whirlpool! Yeah! Waterfall Basin! Whirlpool! 
never fought a headless demon before. I've got to watch their movements and find an opportunity for a counterattack. I can do this! Nosuke, <laughs> you did it. <sighs> Ascent. So that's why you did that. It's it's Rui's fault for coming and threatening me. That's why I panicked. It's not my fault. Water breathing! He's going to cut my head off for sure! What do I do? I have to think of something! First form! Although... If I die, I'll be freed. I'll find peace. Water breathing. Fifth form! Blessed rain after the drought. It's like I'm being showered by a gentle rain. It doesn't hurt. Not at all. I just feel warm. I never dreamed my end would be this tranquil. And now, I'll be released. eyes. Such kind eyes. Back when I was human, I think there was someone who used to look at me with those same gentle eyes. One of the twelve Kizuki is here. Be careful. <laughs> A member of the twelve Kizuki here? Just within my grasp. The twelve Kizuki should possess a high amount of Kibutsuchi's blood. If I can extract it, the medicine that'll help Nezuko will be finished sooner. <clears throat> Hinosuke's still back there! So, did you take out that monster? Hey, are you okay? You're bleeding. Don't go showering me with your mushy sensitivity and kindness! That demon gave off a scent of terror and suffering, enough to make her yearn for death. What's going on on this mountain? I wonder if the others hate me. Would someone normally leave their friend behind like this? You'd talk him through it if you were close. 
Wouldn't you? If they had both tried to convince me to go, I would have. I'm sure of it. But instead, they both went on their merry way up that scary mountain, leaving poor little me all alone. <sighs> I bet Nezuko would have stayed and comforted. She definitely... Wait... Ah! Ah, Tanjiro! He took Nezuko with them! Why did he have to go and take my precious Nezuko with them like that? Damn you, Tanjiro! Taking a young girl like her into danger? Idiot, idiot, idiot! I'll save you, Nezuko! Ouch! Oh, ow! Something just pricked me! What the hell? I'm so frustrated! I can't find Tanjiro or Inosuke anywhere! Where did they go? Which way now? Let's go! Tanjiro! Where are you? <sighs> There's spider webs everywhere I look. Nezuko doesn't belong in a place like this. She should be in... <laughs> a field of flowers. Wait, now that I think about it, am I all alone? But if I'm on my own, what am I supposed to do? If a demon shows up! No! Tanjiro, where are you? <laughs> Why? Please don't fly around at night if you're not an owl! Huh? What the heck? Um, is something coming after me? Hey, hold on a second! I'm definitely being followed! Stop! Just stop! My heart and legs are already trembling in fear! <laughs> Just suddenly come falling down like that! Let my heart get prepared first! <laughs> Wait, can't I go this way? What the heck is this doing here? <sighs> Now there's two of them! Why? Uh, make them go away! Ah! I was getting ready for three, but why is there only one now? Seeing less of them makes me just a startled, okay? What's this? <laughs> Nezuko! Tanjiro! <sighs> Come on! Crap, crap, crap! Where did they go? I 
I can't find them anywhere! Tanjiro! Where did you take my precious Nezuko? How can you do this? Something really stinks around here, too! Gross! And the sound of these spiders running around is so creepy! I'm sure they're just doing their best to survive the same as me, but still! Be quiet! Stop moving around! Why did that spider have a human face on it? What is happening right now? What is happening? Please be a dream, please be a dream, please be a dream, please be a dream! If I wake up right now, I promise to work harder! If I were to wake up in the presence of my precious Nezuko, then I'll do anything! I'll do hard labor, I'll even plow fields, a whole acre! No, two! I promise! Let me wake up from this nightmare! What is happening right now? What is happening? Are those humans who got turned into spiders? And is that house floating? I can't quite make it out, but are those threads? Oh, and it really stinks! Talk about pungent. Tanjiro would hate this for sure. The smell is making my throat hurt. Not just that, it's irritating my eyes too. Oh, it's huge! Look at the size of that thing! You'd better not start talking to me! I don't want to hear anything from you! <laughs> You've already lost the battle! I told you not to talk to me! I don't want to hear it, so stop talking! Things like you give me the creeps, alright? Take a look at your hands! <laughs> my hands? Why? What's wrong with my hand? What the? You're poisoned. A spider bit you, didn't it? You're gonna turn into one before long. <laughs> In half an hour, you'll be my slave, crawling all over the ground. First, you'll start to feel tingling and pains in your limbs. <laughs> Next, you'll feel dizzy and nauseous. After that, your body will painfully start to shrink, and you'll black out. And by the time you wake up... <laughs> what do you think you're doing? Shut up, shut up, you just shut up! There's no need to be afraid. Once the transformation has taken effect, you lose your humanity. Exactly! That's just what I've been dreading about all this! Why can't you get that through your head, huh? Someone like you wouldn't have anyone special in their lives! Ah, no, not that! I don't want to turn into one of those things! Ah. Get a hold of yourself! Stop crying and running away! Doing that isn't going to get you anywhere! Getting hit by lightning. How unlucky can you get? That's when my hair color changed. I hate myself more than anyone else. I always try to get my act together, but I just end up running away or cowering in fear. I want to change. I want to be a capable individual. The fact is, I'm already doing absolutely everything that I can, but in the end, I'm gonna lose all my hair and become a horrific spider creature? What's up with this guy? He's a strange one. 
Oh, crap! Don't climb up here! Can you leave me alone for just a little bit? Hey, are you even listening to me? Am I gonna turn into something as brainless as you guys? Ah! No, 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 no! Just give me a break already! <coughs> he fainted? How spineless can you get? Isn't he a demon slayer who came here to kill our family? He's gonna fall on his head and die! What the hell? Hmm? Believe in yourself. You endured all that hellish training. You'll be rewarded for that without question. What's this? His demeanor has completely changed. You need only master a single thing. Become your own blade. The strongest of all! What the? Get him!
Me? It can't be! This is ridiculous! I was defeated by someone who could hardly move their limbs! <gasps> I just want a dream. A happy, peaceful dream. In it, I'm more powerful than anyone. I'm able to help the weak, anyone in trouble, any time. And everything that Gramps taught me, all the time and effort he spent, and wasn't for nothing. In this dream, thanks to Gramps, I became strong and was able to help a lot of people. But. The time for dreams is over now. Don't ever give up! Don't ever give up. I can use the breathing technique to slow down the poison. Even if it's painful, even if it's agonizing, I can't take the easy way out, or Gramps will let me have it. Yeah. Tanjiro, too. He'll yell at me for sure. Hello there. Who... is that? Hello there. Are you alright? What was that sound? Did lightning just strike? How should I know? Well, I'm not smelling any thunderclouds. But that odor got stronger and is messing with my senses again. Hey, Kedro! Who gives a crap about that? Stop spacing it out! The demons are still out there! Yeah, I know. Let's go. And it's Tanjiro! Tanjiro!
Who's next? That little wuss! I don't care who they are! Bring them on! Huh? Okay. Excuse me.
go for the neck! lives in a fashion where you are able to hold your heads up high. I won't lose. No way I'm gonna lose! I'm Inosuke Hashibira of the Demon Slayer Corps! Give me the worst you got, you dirtbag! Yeah! 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 Yeah!
Train more. What'd you just say to me? That wasn't even one of the 12 Kizuki. Could you not even tell that? Of course I could tell! For your information, it was Tanjiro who was saying it was one of them! I was just repeating what he said to me earlier! Huh? <laughs> what the hell? When did he tie me up? If you are not aware of what state your body is in, you shouldn't be fighting. Ah, I can't hear you! Your voice is too soft and you're walking too fast! I said hold your horses! Get me down! That demon threw me really far. I've got to hurry and regroup with Inosuke. Just hold on. I'll be back soon. I wonder if he knows Case all right. I hope he's not being too reckless. Okay, then. Hmm. <coughs> Screaming! It's coming from that direction! What are you looking at? This isn't a play, you know. W what are you doing? Aren't you two... fighting on the same side? The same side? Don't go phrasing it in such an infantile manner. The two of us are family. We are connected by a powerful bond. Regardless of that, 
this is between me and my sister. If you insist on interfering, I'll carve you up. You're wrong. Family or comrade, as long as you feel close to one another, that's all that really matters. Calling such precious bonds childish, that's not true at all. Not only that, but those who are strongly connected with each other give off the scent of trust. All I'm picking up from you two is the scent of terror, hatred, and revulsion. That's not something you can call a bond. It's a fake, a forgery. Now then, what did you just say? I asked you, what did you say to me? <laughs> Look how scary he got. It feels like the air became ten times heavier. Inosuke, I'm sorry. I'm gonna need you to hang in there a little longer. I'll be there as soon as I defeat this demon. I'll come help you no matter what! I'll say it as many times as I have to. The bonds you have aren't real at all! Just so you know, I'm not going to kill you on a single strike. Instead, I'll dissect you piece by piece. However, if you take back what you said to me just now, I'll make your death mercifully quick. I refuse! What I said was the unbridled truth! I won't take it back- Not on your life! You're the one who's in the wrong! I see. It's as I said. I'll tear you to pieces. <laughs> no! I'm coming after you! <laughs> You're a nuisance. Hold it! I'm coming after you! There! You're a nuisance. Hold it! Waterfall basin! Stay focused. I'm coming after you! The way the threats move is making this a difficult fight. Touch my timing even for an instant, I'll die! He may be strong, but I can't lose this fight! I've gotta cut his head off! Yeah! Fourth form! Strike! Keep your guard up! Stay alert! Can't lose focus! I want to give him a single opening! You have to watch his movements carefully! Really? This is your best! Let me cut you to pieces. Come at me! You're a nuisance. Stay focused. You're a nuisance. You're a nuisance. There! No! There! You're a nuisance. No! You can't do this! Hold this! I'm coming after you! Fourth form! <sighs> He's smarter than I gave him credit for. He doesn't shrink back in fear. Water breathing! First form! Not that any of that will matter in the end. Water surface slash! <laughs> My... my sword's been broken. I can't believe it! Are... are those threads he's controlling? Are they even tougher than the demons I've cut through? I can't dodge this! Nezuko! Nezuko, hang in there! You protected me! Thank you! The girl emerged from that box and defended him. But I'm sure she's one of us! <laughs> is she your sibling? And so what if she is? Siblings... 
siblings. His sister's been turned into a demon. Yet she stays by his side. R Rui? She risked her own life to protect him. That is a genuine bond, and it'll be mine! Rui, hold on a second! Please reconsider! I'm your elder sister! You can't abandon me! Shut up! None of you were able to fulfill the roles you were assigned. Not once in your entire life. Wait, brother. Wasn't I the elder sister that you wanted? Give me another chance. Very well, then. Go kill the humans wandering all over this mountain. If you do that, I'll forgive you for what just happened. Uh, all right. Yes, I'll do that. Boy, let's talk. Just the two of us. The truth is, what your sister did, I found it genuinely moving to behold. I doubt any words exist that describe exactly how I felt. However, your fate now is death. A disagreeable conclusion for you, no doubt. So listen close. I'll impart to you how you can escape your fate. I want you to give your sister to me. If you do so, then I will spare your life. I have no idea what you're talking about. As of today, instead of being your little sister, she's mine. You don't actually think I'd ever agree to that, do you? First off, Nezuko's not a thing! She has her own will and feelings! There's no way she'll ever be your sister! It's alright. You don't need to worry. I'm stronger than you. I will create a bond with her. One made of terror. She'll know what happens when I'm defied. I've had enough of you spouting this nonsense! Using fear to keep someone shackled to you isn't the bond of a family! And until you are able to figure that out, you'll never get what it is you desire! So irritating. Would you mind not shouting? It's clear we don't agree. I'll never hand Nezuko over to you! Very well, then. I'll just take her after I kill you. Not if I manage to cut your head off first! Now that's the spirit. I would love to see you try. Let's see if you have what it takes to bring down one of the twelve Kizuki. His eye says lower rank five. As I thought, his power, he really is one of the twelve Kizuki. In a family, the father has his designated role to fulfill, and the mother has hers in turn. The parents protect their eldest children, and the eldest protect the younger ones. What are you even talking about? The way I see it, if you don't understand your own role in life, there's no reason in living it to begin with. As for you, I'll tell you your role. It is to relinquish your younger sister to me and disappear. If you refuse, your only other path is death. For you cannot defeat me. It won't be easy to cut those threads. But what do I do if his neck is even tougher? Not to mention my broken sword. That steely look in your eyes. I don't like it. What are you plotting? Don't tell me. You think you can defeat me? Ne Nezuko! Quiet down. This won't be enough to kill her. She's a demon. <laughs> Calm down. Don't get emotional. Concentrate. Control your breathing! <laughs> Don't be afraid. Get into his face and cut his neck. Then rescue Nezuko!
Nesuko, please just hold on a little longer! I swear, I promise, your big brother will save you! A steely look in your eyes. I don't like it. What are you plotting? Wonderful reason! <laughs> Threads are at maximum strength, do you? Blood demon art. Cutting thread cage. I have no more use for you. Farewell. Not good! I can't cut these threads! I don't have enough momentum! Something's wrong. Giving off a totally different scent than the other ones. This can't be how it ends. It can't. Am I really gonna die here? Am I? Tanjiro.
Break through, Tanjiro! You have to break through! It's like those threads have a life of their own! He's weaving new ones faster than I can blink! But I can't hesitate. There are repercussions for forcefully switching from water breathing to Hinokami Kagura! If I stop now, I'll be rendered immobile for a time! That's why I need to keep pressing on! I can't let this moment slip by! My lungs, my legs, my strength! Give it everything I've got! Keep going! Keep pushing! Forward! Forward! He's charging without even minding the threads. Ridiculous. As if a strategy that stupid would work. What a stubborn threat. What is it going to take to finally bring him down? Even if it costs me my life, I'm going to take you down right here and now! I... won... I did it! My father... saved me. Our family's Kagura passed down for generations, somehow manifested itself into a technique. And that... helped me defeat that demon. I beat him. I won... Nezuko... <laughs> My vision's blurry, and my whole body's throbbing with pain. Is it because I took too many breaths too fast? I gotta catch my second wind and press on. I still need to go help Minosuke as soon as I can. <laughs> Scent of blood just became stronger. Don't tell me. He survived that, but I cut his head off! You thought you defeated me? How sad for you. Did your delusion bring you a brief moment of joy? I cut my head off myself using my own threads, before you were able to do the job yourself. Enough struggling. I'll kill both you and your sister. I haven't been this incensed in a long time. Get up! Get on your feet! You need to control your breathing! Hurry! There's no time! Now I'm going to carve you up without regret. Blood demon art. Murderous eye basket. Don't let your breathing be disrupted, Tanjiro! Calm down. Just stay calm! My arm! I can't raise my arm! <gasps> that 
That's right. I... Every single day, I missed my parents so much I could barely stand it. Even after crafting a family of my own, that emptiness remained. Because I was the strongest, I couldn't depend on anyone to protect me. No one. The more powerful I became, the more distant my memories of being human became as well. I began losing sight of what it was I wanted in the first place. I sought out a bond that I was never able to claim for myself. Not in my old life, nor the new one I created. His body is giving off a scent, one of grief too overwhelming for him to bear. So warm. Hands. Gentle as sunbeams. Don't waste your sympathy. It was a demon. The fact it looked like a child makes no difference. It lived for decades, terrorizing our people. If it's for the sake of avenging people who were killed, to make sure there are no more victims, I won't hesitate to bring my blade down on any demon's neck. But when it comes to those who felt despair and regret from the actions they took as a demon, I will never disrespect them. Because at one time or another, they were human. No different from me! Aren't you too? Oh my! Why would you get in my way, Tomioka? And after you told me we could never be friends with demons, I have to say, this kind of thing is exactly why no one likes you. Now then, Tomioka, would you please move? People do like me. Oh dear, I do apologize. You're only just hearing about this now then? I'm sorry, I didn't mean for you to find out this way. Boy! Yes, ma'am! What you're protecting there is actually a demon. So please move away before you get hurt. No, you're mistaken. Well, you're not mistaken, but she's... She's my little sister. She's my sister, and that's why... Oh my, is that really true? You poor thing. In that case, so she won't suffer. I'll use a gentle toxin in order to kill her. <gasps> Can you move? Even if it's difficult, you need to go. Take your sister and run. Tomioka, thank you. I appreciate this. Did you just break the rules of the core? Tomioka. Oh, that's right. He's the one we met before. Tomioka's the one who introduced me to Uro Kodaki. Back when Nezuko was first turned into a demon. I had no idea what to do back then. And now, he's saving us again. I can't ever thank him enough. <sighs> My whole body is aching so much, I want to scream! But I have to keep going and endure it! Don't stop running! Keep on moving! You've got to run away! This forest!
Tomioka, this is clearly against the rules. You're preventing me from slaying a demon. What are your intentions here? Don't you have anything to say for yourself? As I recall, it was two years ago. Are you about to go into a long-winded story from the past just to spite me? It's because of what I said to you earlier, is that it? 